When working around a suspended load, you must be alert at all times. Be aware of hazards created by improperly slung cargo. Protect yourself and others. The incident you are about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. A foreman and three workers were discharging aluminum ingots from a hold of a cargo ship using lifting trays secured to a crane. The supervisor recognized the trays had not been properly certified or inspected. So she ordered the gang to remove the lifting trays and switch to a system using four synthetic slings rigged to the crane's spreader bar to lift the load. The crew in the hold was inexperienced in rigging aluminum ingots using slings, but they attempted it anyway. At the time of the incident, the crane operator was hoisting the spreader bar that supported four individually slung aluminum ingots. Each ingot weighed about 1,300 pounds. Once the load cleared the top of the hatch, the crane operator began to laterally swing the load toward the pier. As the load moved to the side, the last ingot slipped, the strap broke, and the ingot fell from its sling. The ingot fell about 27 feet into the hold hit a worker, killing him instantly. The supervisor did not ensure that the lifting tray, the ideal method for lifting this cargo, was properly inspected and certified before the start of operations. Therefore, the lifting procedure for this operation changed unexpectedly, and the workers deviated from the original lift plan. Synthetic slings were not appropriate for lifting this load, given that sharp edges on cargo may cut slings. Since synthetic slings were chosen, the sling should have been inspected for snags, tears, and cuts before use. After the lifting procedure was changed, members of the gang were not briefed on hazards associated with the new procedure and how to perform the lift safely. Operations were not halted even though the load was not properly slung the rigging was wrong, and workers were not familiar with the proper procedures. Workers were not directed to stay clear of the suspended load. No one in the hold was prepared by training or experience to rig the load with this method. Therefore, the hold men did not inspect the synthetic slings and report problems to their supervisor when rigging the load. The workers did not ensure they were out of the danger zone, especially when working around a suspended load. Incidents like this one can be prevented. If you are a supervisor or foreman, ensure lifting gear is properly certified and inspected before the start of operations. Review the lifting operation in order to determine the appropriate lifting method for the job. Ensure your workers are trained and prepared to perform the job. Take extra care to ensure safe work practices when there is an unexpected change to the work plan. Plan the lift and lift the plan. Carefully inspect the rigging to ensure proper techniques are used. Always ensure the crane and sling safe working loads are not exceeded. Direct the gang to stay clear of suspended loads and be aware of the danger zone. If you are a holdman, attend equipment training and safety training. Pay careful attention during gangway safety talks. Know who is in charge of the lift and follow directions. Be especially attentive to safe work practices and proper procedures when there is an unexpected change to the work plan. Inspect synthetic slings for snags, tears, and cuts before use. Be aware that metal products can be smooth, easily slide, and difficult to handle. Never work under a load. Stay out of the danger zone and remain aware of overhead loads. The workers in this gang are no different from you. Ten training programs that explain procedures for lifting and moving different cargo types. If you work around suspended loads, always be alert. Stay clear of the danger zone 
and watch out for overhead loads. Don't let a tragedy like this one happen to you.